day 29. Wow. Mixed emotions for me. It's exciting that we are so near the end, yet it is also a bit sad, but my guides are telling me we're going to be doing more of this. Yay! So there's going to be upcoming courses. There's going to be upcoming um, specific themes that we're going to be exploring. So please, if you want more specific information on that, let me know. I will keep you in the loop, but this is so, I'm so grateful because this is just the start for us. Yay! Day 29. Let's begin with three deep breaths as we tune in and explore what it is that our meditation is going to be focusing on today. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Mm. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Let's come lying on your mat into Shavasana, palms up towards the sky. Let yourself fully and completely relax here. Letting go entirely and in every way. Feel this 3D reality, this denser version of your physical form on the mat and really allow yourself to fully release, to fully let go, to fully open, to really sink into the mat here. Let all the tension, let all the stress fall away. Envision that you're on a bed of water and then underneath you there is this fluid current and it pulls out just like a beautiful Epsom salt bath. It pulls out any stress, any tension in the physical body and it moves it downstream. It cleanses it, it moves it along its way, it transforms it, it brings it back to the light and it lets that body become more fluid, more light more clean. Bring your attention to any areas of the body that you would like this beautiful, peaceful stream of water to flow to. Maybe there's tension in certain areas of your body. Maybe you have hurt or um, emotional blocks. Let this beautiful bed of water that you're floating on really take its waves and its nutrient flow to the certain areas of your body and let it just send its peaceful, lulling comfort to these areas of the body that need more relaxation, that need more peace, that need more flow, that need more kindness, that need more let go. Let this water just float around. If it needs to swirl in a certain area for a while, that's just fine. But everywhere this water touches, it flows up and down the spine, down the legs, anywhere it needs to go. It brings a quality of peace. You can see the color blue. There's that beautiful blue soothing energy moving through the body, cooling off anything that's heated or anything that is overly agitated. Let this blue luminous feeling of peace move through the entire physical form. Now in your visualization, let this wave of peace move outward. See the water like a wave, like a beautiful, perhaps loving, um, ginormous wave travel. And who does it go to? And who does it bring more peace to? Envision that wave traveling. Envision it moving to the bodies of the people you love and care about. You can do one or two, however it strikes you, but let this quality of peace and ease move to others. See these individuals more peaceful, more easy, more comforted, more enveloped by this blue, peaceful wave of light, of restoration, of comfort. And then next move that wave of light to all the non-physical energies of the highest good, of the highest forms that you love and so appreciate. And now let this beautiful peaceful wave move towards all of these energies in thanks, in appreciation. You envelop them in this beautiful, wonderful wave of thanks, of adoration, of recognition, of appreciation. And 
And then you let that wave now move back to yourself. It's now more powerful, more strong, more clean, more vibrant. As it's moved, it's cleaned, it's brought peace and comfort to your friends, to your non-physical counterparts. Now to yourself again, feel that it's gotten even more powerful. And let yourself be flooded again with its love, with its comfort, with its calm. And just as powerful as you are, remember this feeling of peace. Reminding yourself that you might not be able to fully encapsulate it completely in every moment that you want to, but at every point in time you do have a certain connection and access to this. So remember this, and the cue word for you is peace. Wave of peace, peace. And you can move back into this connection and this feeling when you're wanting. Good. Let's take the hands to the heart, honoring this powerful organ. Let's do one ohm inhale. Ohm. Beautiful. Begin wiggling your fingers and your toes, making circles with your hands and with your feet, reaching up, letting that peace now move forward into your day. Roll on over to one side and press yourself up to a seated position, taking your hands to heart center. Let's do a big breath in and an ohm. I'm setting the intention as you move forward into your day that you have so much more connection into peace. That it's been this yoga journey that I'm so thankful to have you a part of. So thankful to have you join me that it's been this process that has just helped you remember that which you already are. It's just helped you reaccess the peace that is already there for you. It just helped you re-acknowledge that which is within you that is always comforted, easy, and calm. Mm. May this very meditation create more miracles in our lives. May it actually flood our physical form and energetic and even our beautiful, magnificent spiritual self with more peace. May that good energy reflect outward, bringing more peace, comfort, joy, and ease to so many others and beyond. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm so excited to see you for our final day tomorrow. Mm. Namaste. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.